Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the first chakra, earth energy, and how to connect our energy into the current vibration of the planet. But first let me introduce myself. I am Shara Ogan. I'm a life coach. I'm an intuitive. I'm a clairvoyant. I'm a mama to a two-year-old and I'm a wife and I'm a lover of life. And I will tell you a little bit about how this group is going to go today. So I lead these groups every week and we start off with me discuss, discussing the topic and then we're going to go into a group healing. I will set the intention to channel my energy towards everyone who's actually live on this call and everybody who I think might be listening to the call later. And then at the very end, I'm going to open it up to uh, questions and answers and shares and you could write any of that into the, in the chat as we go along. And I'll be sure at the very end to look at that and to uh, respond to everybody who needs a response. Okay, so let's just begin by taking off your socks and shoes and sit in a chair that's nice and comfortable. And we're actually going to connect into the earth right now. So first of all, you could ask yourself, where are you? Where is your energy? You know, it might be doing the 10 things you were just doing right before you got on this call or it might be still in like your dream sleep. So just pay attention to where are you? Where is your attention? Where is your energy? If you've been feeling fear and anxiety, it's probably up here. So this is what I want you to do. Once you're sitting comfortably in your chair, I want you to take your socks off, like I said, and take your big toe. Yep, that's right. And I want you to just take your big toe and move it in a circle like that. I'm gonna rest my ankle on my other knee. And so I suggest you do one leg over the other. And just start by taking your big toe and circling it around. Just circle it around like that. Okay. And then take it slightly down towards the sole of your foot and back. Just kind of like saying hello to your toe, your big toe. And once again, circle it around. And you can kind of like twist it so it goes this way, supination, pronation it's called. We're just basically waking up our toes to bring our energy down into our feet. And now let's move to the second toe next to the big toe and start by circling it around like that. So go nice and slow, nice and slow, circling it around. And then take it down towards the sole of your foot and back. So kind of go through these three motions of circling, flexion, extension, and supination, pronation, which is basically where you twist it left and right. And now go ahead to the third toe and do those same movements as I talk about the topic of the first chakra. So the first chakra is located at the very base of our spine and it, the color of it is red. And it basically deals with fear, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, anything that has to do with safety, security, and our well-being. So like money, finances, am I going to be okay health-wise? Is, is, am I going to have a partner? Am I going to be single forever? Any time that your, your amygdala gets activated and the fight or flight response goes off, that's first chakra issues. So I actually chose this topic. Go ahead to the to the next toe right here. I actually chose this topic because I'm well aware of what's going on right now with the coronavirus. People left and right are losing their jobs. People's financials are in mayhem right now. So many unknowns. And also around love, people are either in a relationship and good good job if you're doing well, if you're living in the same house. And if you're single, it's a really hard time to be single right now. So it's basically difficult on both extremes. So a lot of people are experiencing fear, anxiety, worry, all of those emotions. And those emotions basically stem from your chest right here to the top of your head. So I mean the top of your head by like there's a lot of thinking, a lot of, oh my God, what should I do? Okay, go to the pinky toe now. And that literally unroots you. It literally is going to cause accidents and have you hurt yourself. In fact, have you noticed that there's a lot of foot injuries going on right now? So if you have or if you know somebody who's had a foot or leg injury, this represents walking your path and fear or 
not knowing what your future path is. So it's basically fears around walking your path forward. Okay, so now take all five toes and bend them down and back, down and back. So do that a few times and then also circle all your toes around, but make it easy. So make it in a way that your arm's not stressing, make it in a way it just feels good. You could even almost massage each toe, massage your feet and then circle it the other way. So circle it the other way. And then let that go and place that foot down on the ground. Take a breath. And just feel how much more connected that foot that you just chose to work with feels as compared to the other one. And you might even feel it's heavier into your chair. It's heavier towards the ground. You might even feel that pelvis is a little bit lower. So just shut your eyes, go inward, and see what it feels like for you. Because the theme of today is really connecting our energy into the earth and getting it out of the circling and the ruminating energy that's up here. And I can already see and feel within me the energy that's going from the ground up my foot and vice versa, the energy that's coming from my body down into the earth. See if you could bring some awareness to that or use your intention to draw the energy from the earth up that foot and then back down. It's like there's almost like an electrical frequency right now in that foot, especially more clear as, as opposed to the other one. Okay, so now to balance out, we're gonna do the other foot. So let's start with the big toe, okay? So cross your legs once again and start with the three motions of circling your big toe nice and slow, going up and down. I'll tell you when to switch. So in a natural healthy state, your base or your root chakra will help you to feel gratitude and appreciation for everything that comes your way, whether it's offer from a help from a friend or just seeing a pretty flower, all the beautiful colors of the flowers are coming out right now. This is where you start to recognize all things as abundant and be grateful for everything that you have and more. And when you are in that state of mind, more abundance comes to you as well. Okay, so move to the next toe, the second one. So an unhealthy first chakra experiences where our fight and flight mechanism becomes engaged. We basically disconnect from the physical earth connection. And not only that, but it blocks us from manifesting, from manifesting everything we want. We could also say that you become more accident prone when your first chakra is super open or super closed, okay? And there's no right way for it to be, but it's right for, you want it somewhere in between open and closed in a way that feels supportive. Let's start with the third toe here, okay? So let's start by doing a circle of the third toe. So circle it nice and slowly, and then circle it the other way. And then very slowly, take the toe down and back. Down and back. Down and back. And circle it and take it down and back. And you could also twist it up and back. Pronation, supination, twist it around. Big circle, anything that feels good. So make sure that your one leg is rested on the other one. And so let's take this toe and go ahead and circle it. The, I'm sorry, the next toe, the pinky toe. And let's circle it, make a circle with it. And then let's go to the pinky toe. And so once again, make the circle with the pinky and circle it the other way. Go uh, supination, pronation. Okay, and then take all five toes and go ahead and make a circle with all five toes. And I'm glad some people found me. Okay, and then circle it the other way. So all five toes, we're making a big circle to massage and connect with your foot. Loosen up your foot toes, your toes. We so rarely connect into our, our feet. Okay, so now put both your feet flat on the ground and really feel the energy now that stems from the base of your feet into the earth. And I'm gonna turn on some music and we're gonna go into the meditation portion of today's session. So I invite you all to shut your eyes. Let's start by taking some deep, rejuvenating breaths. A deep inhale. And exhale. Continue breathing 
rhythmically inhale and exhale a few times. When your breath becomes really short and laborsome, that basically is an invitation to no longer live. It's basically like when we don't breathe, we're no longer taking in life. Oxygen is life. So by taking in a full breath of oxygen, just see it going to all the cells of your lungs, everywhere in your body that needs it. And then as you exhale, you release any toxic wastes, anything that's not supposed to be in your body. Inhale and exhale. Now the first chakra is connected directly with our adrenals and our adrenals produce cortisol and stress hormones. And so we want to make sure to give some relaxation to our adrenals so we can have the feel good hormones, the healthy hormones to help us to ground to help us to be present and still with inside of ourselves. And now I imagine, I invite you to imagine that you're walking somewhere out in nature. Could be on a mountaintop, could be in a forest, could be on a beach, any place that really resonates the most with you. Just imagine that you're walking along this place in nature. And as you walk, really feel the earth beneath you. What does the ground feel like? And as you walk, you can imagine yourself walking barefoot or with shoes. Really feel that electrical connection that you have every time your foot touches the ground. And you feel the frequency of the earth beneath your feet. And you could just pause in your visualization and take a moment to breathe in the fresh air. Breathe in the fresh air. And perhaps even feel the breeze through your hair. It feels so good to be in nature, outside, where you can let all of your worries behind. Find a seat somewhere that feels good for you. Could be by a tree, the ocean, whatever scene you choose, go ahead and take a seat. You could sit cross-legged in your visualization. And we're gonna take the next few minutes to really connect in to the current vibration of the plant planet. We're gonna entrain with the frequency of Earth itself. So just take a moment and keep breathing freely like you are Allow your breath to entrain to the current frequency, the current vibration of the planet. And I invite you right here as you're sitting to take in your light, take in your light through the crown of your head and I'm gonna help you with this. As you take in your light, let's let it move slowly through every chakra, clearing out any of the confusion, any of the constriction in your head, and any of the fogginess that's blocking your forehead, your third eye. And let's just pause here at your fifth chakra, voice communication. 
right now there is a little bit of a halting on people's communication on what people want to share or say right now this is nothing bad it's sort of more like re resetting it's a resetting of the fifth chakra a lot of people just got a slap in the face with a firing being fired from their career or just everybody's moving through something and the result of that is people's communication may be shifted and not as clear as it may have been otherwise what I often recommend is journaling and don't feel the pressure to have to put into words what's actually going on for you. It's, it's, uh, it's helpful sometimes to speak what's your truth, what you're feeling. But right now, what I'm getting from everybody on this call, more internal communication is more important, but not the kind that circles you in your head. More the kind that you can move through your body. So let's keep taking the light through your body, move it through your heart. Let's pause at your heart and really allow your heart energy to radiate out all around you, remembering gratitude and appreciation for all that is and all you have. And then also shine the light from your heart energy into yourself. And this is also where you allow your breath, your lungs and your heart, let it fill and release in a rhythmic wave. Remembering to love and appreciate yourself. And then let's bring the light down to your belly and your organs. And what I'm seeing right now is there's a lot of running energy in the third chakra, like I should be, I gotta go. And what I'm actually getting from pretty much everybody who I'm doing readings on is actually just pause. This is literally a pause in people's evolution or growth or production, you know? And the pause is not a bad thing. The pause is similar to a breath. And if we take think about um, as a metaphor, the earth taking a breath, that feels really right on and I was meditating just before this call started and I was just acknowledging how much happier it feels like the trees and nature is right now because they're in alignment with the current vibration that's going on around the universe when there's a lot of pollutants in the air like after the fire or all the pollution that was already going on from driving and in industries then plants really take the toll. And basically plants probably came together <laughs> as a collective consciousness and were like, wait a second, we've got to stop this. And people didn't listen. And so look what happened. It was forced, it was a forced stop. So in the third chakra, in the belly, let's just bring the light in there. And the energy that wants to come in there is, it's okay. Like It's literally okay. It's okay to, it's okay to do and it's okay to not do. Okay. Let's bring the light down further into the pelvis. Just briefly, um, in the second chakra, we wanna let go of anybody recording. Just free yourself from anybody's energy who's in your space. <sighs> Create the space special for you. And then let's go down to your pelvis and your legs and let's allow let's have this color energy be a darkish brown or dark blue so have it be an earth energy color and let's take that energy from your pelvis down both of your legs go slowly like molasses and allow it to go down your lower legs your ankles, your feet, and down into the center of the planet. Almost as if you had roots growing down from the soles of your feet into the earth. 
And now let's imagine the energy that's dark blue or brownish coming from the earth and coming back up, up through your grounding cord, up through your legs, into your pelvis. And let's just go back and forth like that a few times. From your pelvis down your legs and into the earth and vice versa. Repeat that a few more times. Now there's certain mantras that are super important right now for you to take into your body. One of them is the earth beneath me supports me. So I want you to infuse your body, breathe that in. The earth beneath me supports me. If you truly believe that, you can't be in fear and anxiety. I am fully supported. The earth beneath me supports me. I am supported. So whatever fears you're having right now in your life, see if you could take in that energy around it just a little bit more that the earth beneath me supports me. I am supported. The practicals and the logistics of what you need to do about that situation, this is not the time for that, but you need to do both. So for right now, bring yourself into the current vibration of the planet and feel the support beneath your feet. Feel, feel the energetic support that's around you. And take a moment to really tune into what is the current vibration of the planet? And how could I set my own internal compass, my own internal vibration in accordance to that? I'm literally seeing an image of a baby being held in a carrier and a baby just being rocked. That's what it feels to be fully supported and to know that your needs are met and that the universe around you is okay. When you came in as babies, you all felt that. You all have that encoded into your blood. And then life happens and halts it, halts your breath. So we just need to refine that part of ourselves that was once completely safe and secure. So I'm just imagining the babies and healing the babies. Holding the babies, nourishing and rocking them. Take just a few more moments to set your energy vibration to the current vibration of the planet. If you're unsure what that means, ask. Ask the planet. How can I better meet my energy needs to where you're at? How can we work together better?
So I'm just taking the last moment to tune in some people to, to some people's fears right now. And the one thing that this time period is asking of you is to heal those just a little bit more. There may be truth or not truth to that, but that energy pattern, that program that you're going into it with is basically reinforcing it rather than showing you a different outcome. In two weeks from now, I'm gonna do my healing group on programs to teach you how to reprogram your internal programs that you have. But for right now, just come to a place of acceptance and an intention to bring more grounding, more earth energy, more of that own feeling of safety and security into your body. And trust that you will be okay. And then I would like you to very slowly stand up from where you are and walk out the beautiful path that you walked into this meditation on. And really feel the connection to the planet as you walk forward. Feel the earth beneath your feet. And take a moment to have gratitude for something in your life. Maybe five things that you're grateful for. And now I'd like you to create a vision of you going through the rest of your day feeling more grounded and connected to the earth. Just kind of draw a line from where you are through the rest of the day. What will it be like when you cook your next meal being grounded? What will it be like when you go to the grocery store grounded? What will it be like when you call your mom? You're grounded. What will it be like when you go into your work endeavor grounded? And then we're gonna end with having you take in your light, a healing energy one more time. And I'm gonna just check in with myself what the current healing energy is. So the current energy is really earth energy. And that is the, it could be kind of a medium to dark blue, kind of like, you know, when they look at pictures of the planet earth, it's like that dark bluish brown color. And so I invite you all to take that in from the crown of your head. Pushing anything that's not supposed to be there down into the earth. And let it go slowly, slowly, slowly. All the way down. And then when it gets all the way down into the earth, I'd like you to bend forward and balance your energy. You could touch the ground and stay down there for three deep rejuvenating breaths. And as you come back up, you'll be in the current vibration for where you are right now for the rest of your day. And just find yourself on the chair you're sitting on, back in the space you're in, and really feel that energy that's now traveling down your legs and up your legs. There's a clear channel, especially from your pelvis down into the earth right now. And when you get up from this healing group and you walk around, be more aware of how you could really feel that electrical frequency from the base of your feet as you walk around. If you have any suggestions for future healing groups, please write them in the comments. I'd love to hear ideas that you have. I'd love to hear how this, if you have any questions or how this experience was, feel free to write that in chat.
And yeah, I'm like, right now I'm like inspired as could be. So I'm like, let me help you. Let me see what I can do to, you know, change the world one person at a time. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of take a look at what people wrote. Uh, you're welcome, Anu. Okay, we're going to wrap up here. Sending you so much love from my heart and have a great rest of your day.